everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have a Transformers Combiner Wars review for you. This is Protectobot First Aid. He is kind of a retool slash repaint of Off-Road from the Stunticons. But he looks pretty excellent. It definitely looks like a G1 uh, head sculpt here for First Aid. First Aid, for whatever reason, was always one of my favorites when I was a kid. I don't really know why. I just always liked the character. Like the IDW artwork here on the comic book that's included, that's very nice. On the back here you can see alt mode, robot mode, forms a leg of Defensor. Although technically you can use him as an arm or a leg, it's up to you. I'm going to zoom in here and you can take a look at his bio. Alright, so we'll go ahead, we'll get him out of the package and we will take a closer look. Alright, so here's first aid out of the packaging. I really think he looks great. I think this was a pretty good mold to decide to use for him. It's very easily convertible into an ambulance. And I love the white and red with the blue and silver accents. I think it looks great. Love the blue down here. I'm gonna try to get in close and take a look at this head sculpt because I absolutely love it. I mean, that is a ridiculously G1 first aid head sculpt. I absolutely love that. It's fantastic. That is G1 first aid all the way. I think he looks great. I love the silver. The Autobot symbol looks nice. Very, very good looking figure. The white is sharp. Unfortunately on mine in some places, not many, and they're mostly kind of out of the way, but you can see some of the red paint, and you probably can't see it that well, but it's kind of starting to smudge. So you can kind of see some red there. And the other place I really notice it is inside here. There's a little bit there and a little bit there. It's not showing up on the camera very well. And it's not a huge problem. It's not glaring, but a little bit of paint starting to come off, which is kind of a bummer. But otherwise, I think he looks absolutely great. He does come with two accessories. He has the same kind of axe that Off-Road had, only it's differently painted. Nice silver on the blade. I like that a lot. That can pop right in his hand, no problem. He's also, of course, got the gun, foot, hand combo piece that every one of these comes with. Again, if you want, you can pop it in his hand to use as a gun. Uh, there we go. So, if you want to use that as a gun, you can. Otherwise, just put it off to the side. And he can just use the axe. But, if you know anything about the character of First Aid, he's a pacifist, so he doesn't really fight. He just fixes everybody up. He's a medic. But he looks great, and we'll go ahead and move on to the transformation. Before we get on to the transformation, I guess I should go through articulation. If, you, if you've seen Off-Road, it's exactly the same. I mean, heads on a ball joint. You have this joint can move up, or I should say move down, but that's really for the transformation. So really, you just want to use the ball joint in the shoulders. Uh, the shoulder pad has some rotation, uh, but that kind of is hindered by these wheels. Now, you could pop this part back and just kind of leave it back if you wanted. It leaves the back really open, but it does give you ridiculous range of motion with the shoulder. So that's a personal preference thing. I actually don't kind of mind it. It's kind of reminiscent of the G1, uh, where he kind of had that piece just flat back. So I don't know. I, I might leave it like that. I kind of like that. And it doesn't hinder the shoulders at all. And then he's got a kind of right above the uh, elbow swivel from side to side, and also he's got movement at the elbow. Hands don't move, waist can move, I think 360, I'm pretty sure. Um, ball joint in the hip, then you have the thigh swivel, and then pretty much 90 degrees in the knee, no feet swivel. So it's really all the same articulation that Off-Road had, because it's the same mold. They are mold brothers. Uh, but it's a nice range of articulation, I think it looks good. Transformation is also going to be exactly the same as off-road. You're going to start by sandwiching the feet together. Uh, unpeg this from the front. You can see the pegs right there. So mine's a little tricky. Uh, you can see there's a tab here, which is going to fit into a slot right there. And for some reason, mine didn't really want to go in the first couple times I transformed it. So I think it's going to get looser with age haha -ha. uh so yeah so he's transformed in pretty good now and you can see it did snap a lot easier so i don't know why the first time gave me so much trouble but you're going to 
put the arms straight out so that they kind of connect with the shoulder pad. And then this whole piece, you can lift, pop this part back just to get it out of the way. And then that's going to fold in right there, just like that. It's this hinge in here that I was telling you about earlier. It just folds down and this folds perfectly in. And then this part just comes down and then this snaps in. And it depends, to, I mean, how tight, if you want, I think it's just meant to kind of snap in like this. But as you can see, there's kind of a little bit of a gap there. If you really mash it, and I don't mean mash it, but push it in, it will go all the way in and makes it really tight. You can see that there's pegs. Uh, there's a little slot right here and here for these and that's kind of why the paints coming off the paint inside here is kind of coming off on these tabs because they're so tight So it's up to you how much you want to push it in and maybe it's not that tight on yours That would be nice, but in any case the vehicle mode you're left with I think looks great So just taking a closer look at the vehicle mode. It's really nice. I definitely think this mold works as an ambulance obviously off-road didn't have this back part here it was just kind of a flatbed pickup truck. But I think it looks great. The emergency and the rescue is written very nicely in white. I love the blue of the windows. Really pops. Siren on top looks good. Autobot symbol on the hood I think looks fantastic. Really sharp paint. Really did a nice job with these. Back's really white, but I mean I have no complaints. Underneath you can clearly see the robot head, but you know, what are you going to do? It's underneath. And you can go ahead and peg these in on the side here if you like these can both peg in on the side or of course you can take this and you see there's kind of a little tab right here I thought I just saw it maybe I'm wrong I thought that this would peg on here but yeah it does it's right in here it's kind of hard to see but it's and maybe I can get close in between the middle two fingers you can kind of peg that on there let me get this lined up there you go and then you can kind of fold this part back so if you would like to have an ambulance with a large gun on top doesn't really make sense for an ambulance but hey it's fun and you can certainly do it and it looks good it looks like it's meant to peg on there so I always appreciate when there's a nice storage place for the hand foot piece on the vehicle mode. I think that looks pretty good. So I have to say I love this guy. Like I said, first aid's always been kind of a favorite to me. Just don't really know why. I guess just because when I, I kind of started watching Transformers, season three was kind of what I started with just because of my age. That was kind of what was on TV when I was watching it. Um, and this guy's very prominent in like late season two, season three. So that's kind of when I was watching the episodes. In any case, I love the character. I think this is a great toy. I know it is a remold of Off-Road, but they really have done a great job retooling the head. New head sculpt looks fantastic. The paint is very sharp, very nice. I feel like because they knew they were just kind of retools, uh, repaints of old molds, they put a lot of extra love into these. And so far with the Protectobots, they've been knocking it out of the park. I love Streetwise. I love First Aid. I'm excited to take a look at the rest of them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Combiner Wars Protectabot First Aid, and thanks for watching.